What is up, G fan? This is Gifted here, and welcome to the first episode of How Is Made. Today, we're going to be watching Patron Tequila. How is Patron Tequila made? We're going to find out here together. If you guys have any suggestions that you would like me to watch any of How Is Made specific video, drop it down in the comment section. I'll be working on those as well. But let's find out how this beautiful nectarine is made. Let's go. Alright, 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 Tequila Patron, how it's made. Let's find out together, but before I press that juicy play button, do me one favor and subscribe to the channel, it will truly help me out, grow the, the growth of this channel, and if you guys don't in between the video or whatnot, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and it will truly let me know how I'm doing. So, without further ado, let's drop it. The origins of tequila can be traced back many centuries. Mexico's Aztecs fermented the juice of the agave plant to produce a low-alcohol drink called pulque. When the Spanish conquistadors arrived, they added distillation to the process for a much stronger drink, and tequila was born. Pass the salt and lime. Mm. Tequila is to Mexico as champagne is to France. Woo. Tequila is only made in this part of the world, yeah. and Mexico At has claimed go. exclusive rights to the word tequila. For well, those of you that don't know, I am actually a bartender, so I know a fair amount of how different um, spirits are made. But obviously, there's always so much more to learn because, well, it's this very complex world. For centuries, workers called jimadores have grown and harvested the agave plant for tequila. It takes seven years on average for a species called Weber blue agave yeah. to mature. Even today, it's harvested entirely by hand, using a razor-sharp hoe-like tool. The himadores chop away the greenery until all that's left is a huge core called the pina. Filing the round blade frequently keeps it sharp, allowing them to remove most of the bitter-tasting leaves from the pina. The tequila distilled from this crop will be a premium grade, made from 100% agave juice. The jimadores routinely remove a small piece and measure the starch content of the crop. Damn! They, I see land right over there. <laughs> Only if it's deemed to be sufficient is the agave penis sent to the distillery. Workers wield special hatchets to carve the huge penis into quarters to make them more manageable for baking. They transfer the chopped pina to a brick oven, where it's steam-baked for 79 hours. This thorough cooking converts the agave starch to sugar. In the process, the flesh softens and the color turns from white to reddish-brown. The baked agave pina now spills onto a shredder that rotates to tear the fruit into long, thin fibers. These fibers exit onto a conveyor. Ow. The shredded pina lands looks like hay, see what I mean? But it's just like wet hay, see you know? in a pit where a worker forks it up and moves it into the path of a huge stone wheel called a tahona. Operated mechanically, the tahona wheel turns to crush the fibers and squeeze out the precious agave nectar. It takes two hours of crushing to extract all the juices. They pipe the juicy mash into wooden tanks and add yeast. The yeast causes fermentation, a process where sugar is transformed into alcohol. After 72 hours of fermentation, the alcohol content reaches 5%. The fermented pulp and juices have an... <laughs> you think he just did that for the video? Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what's happening. Earthy, <laughs> acidic no, 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 no. And the you. aroma fills the air. <laughs> They transfer the fermented mash to small copper stills. Inside the stills, the alcohol is boiled off and the vapor condensed into a more potent liquid. This is called distillation. 
After two distillation cycles, they have tequila. A technician measures the alcohol content, and it's 55%. After straining out the pulp, they transfer the tequila to steel tanks. They add purified well water to dilute the alcohol content and bring it down to 40%. Oh, come the on, baby. Is now come on, baby. Keep it, keep it straight. Keep it neat, baby. Give me that 55%, baby. They're ready to drink, so it's over to the bottling line. With the bottles upside down on a revolving carousel, they spray the inside with tequila for a quick rinse. The grippers flip them right side up. They so rinse they them with tequila. Filled. This automated system maintains a precise filling level. An employee corks the bottles and then sends them down the line. The next worker presses adhesive back transparent labels onto them. Oh, they do it. They, they put the, the sticker manually. See, I thought it was a uh, machine, but I guess it's manually. The see-through labels showcase the clarity of this fresh, premium tequila. For a drink with a little more complexity, they age the tequila in oak casks. Damn! Or more, depending Look on at my... Look at my... Eight, there, that's not real. That, that's not... Wait... Aging, the tequila takes on a woody flavor and turns a warm shade of amber. Oh, fuck that, bro. The master distiller personally approves every batch. He checks. Yeah, 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 yeah. The master distiller. The master alcoholic. Nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> the color inhales the aroma mm, yes, and puts yes. his observations down on paper. He also takes a little sip. No longer just a rough swig for banditos. Tequila has gone up market and is a key ingredient in many popular cocktails. The end result is still the same though. Cheers. Cheers. Bam. All right, all right. So that was Patron Tequila, how it's made. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. I learned a few things and whatnot. So this is something I'm going to be trying out and see how it works. I, I enjoy of the things, you know, to learn things of how it's made and whatnot. So if you guys are enjoying it, drop me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It would truly help me out. We're trying to grow this channel, you know, to the max capacity. The PewDiePie level. <laughs> Hopefully one day. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. But thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time here on the GFAM channel. And as always, guys, stay gifted. Thank you so much. Peace. Perfect. 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 Perfect.